It is time to start the quest for World Series number 28. Settle down. Settle down, please. Settle down and sit down. Okay, I'd like to begin. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the press, and welcome to another glorious opening day of a brand new Yankee baseball season. You know, a new season is like when you open up a brand new package of clean underwear. They are so fresh and clean and new, but like the baseball season, over time, new underwear loses its luster and gets smelly and dull, and maybe little skid marks and other excretion stains appear here and there, and some don't go away, even after they've been washed. And then the next thing you know, the underwear has little holes in it, like the holes in a baseball lineup that can happen over time. And then the rubber frays and pops out of the fabric and the rubber, it grabs the little dingleberries and some wild ass hairs and it pulls and tugs on them. And the next thing you know, you're sick and tired of the underwear and you need to throw it out. Well, new underwear over time is a lot like baseball, ladies and gentlemen. But let's see how this Yankee team of new underwear holds up over a 162-game season. You know, I look out at you writers and I see a lot of chubby, pasty crayon pushes. Didn't you go out in the sun and swim a little bit during spring training in Florida? Holy crap. Many of you, you look like Ned Beatty or Beatty. Or, I get confused between Ned Beatty and Warren Beatty. Is it Beatty or Beatty? You say Beatty, I say Beatty, okay? The character in Deliverance. Plump and pasty. It's making me want to go bring a, a big log in there for you to lie face down on. We open up the new season today at home against the Boston Red Sox in the house next to the house that Ruth built. Now, I don't have to say much about Boston. The Yankees and Red Sox is possibly the greatest rivalry in the history of all sports. So saying we like to beat them is an understatement. Personally, I like to put Ben Gay on their jock straps and hang them from hooks on the wall. That being said, let me tell you something. We play in the hardest division in baseball. We just do. Last year, the Rays won 100 games, and us, the Red Sox, and the Blue Jays all won over 90 games. Now, thank God the glory holes are also in our division. If the teams in our division were like sex partners, every one of them would play hard to get except the glory holes, who would lie on their backs with their legs up in the air and a sign on their bottom saying, Insert here, and you can print that. As you know, there have been some significant changes to this Yankee team for the 2022 season. What are you going to do about Lemenu? Keep Lemenu's name out your fucking mouth. Keep Lemenu's name out your fucking mouth. Okay. Here's where we stand position by position heading into the 2022 season. Our catches are now Kyle Nagasaki. And we just acquired Lee Trevino. Now, Lee Trevino, he, he's not a good defensive catcher, but I love his swing. Okay, we got him from the Rangers. Now, it ain't Bench and Berra, so we shall see. First base is Anthony Rizzo. Now, we're going to need a lot more out of him other than pasta recipes. Second base will be a platoon with Lemenu, Gleyber Torres, uh, Lemenu will bounce between first, second, and third with some DH as well. Let, let's just hope that Torres returns to form. 
Now, third base will be Josh Donaldson. He's now the oldest person on the team. He was our big free agent pickup. At shortstop, we have uh, Isaiah Kaina Falafel. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Falafel. We could have picked up any of the solid shortstop free agents who are available, but we went with the Falafel. The outfield will be Joey Gallo, Aaron Hicks, Aaron Judge, and Giancarlo Stanton, which looks good on paper, at least. The bench will consist of Marlon Gonzalez, Miguel Andujar, and uh, Fidel LaCastro. Now, uh, Gonzalez can play six positions, all of them badly. If Andujar can get back to form, he could be the difference. Okay, the starting rotation will be uh, Garrett Cole, Luis Severino, uh, Jamison Wyone, Jordan Montgomery, and Nestle's Cortez Jr. Now, German is on the DL, so we can't worry about that. If they can't all go at least six each outing, then we will need to score a lot of runs. It's that simple. And the bullpen will be a bunch of guys who are completely interchangeable with any bullpen on any team. If they were better pitchers, they'd be starters and closers. It is what it is. Who's gone? Okay, Voight. Boy, am I going to miss busting his balls. It was fun when he was in a locker room. Uh, he's gone. Dirty Sanchez is gone. Uh, Ursula is gone. Gardner is gone. Unfortunately, we heard Gardner just donated his neck to science. Also, Speedy Gonzalez is gone. Pepe Le Pew and Jemima and the Frito Bandito. But they're all gone for completely different reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my bottom line. The Yankee organization has now been valued at about six billion fucking dollars. Look at the ticket prices, food and concession prices, parking prices, whatever prices, acting less than singing less than dancing less than Yankee fans paid the most of any other fans in the major leagues. Hal needs to spend the fucking money. There is no reason why we shouldn't have signed one of the shortstop free agents or pitching aces that were available this season. Spend the fucking money, Hal. The fans deserve it. And you have an organization worth six fucking billion dollars paying another 60, 80, or even 100 million a year for the best players available to fill a couple of holes is belly button lent to you, Hal. Hal, clean your fucking belly button. Open the damn fucking wallet. Print that too. Every fucking word of it. Okay. And that's that. It is time, my friends. It is time to play the games that count. It is time to start the quest for World Series number 28. This is the time of the year that we hope that spring is eternal. Now, I don't know who this hope lady is, but when she springs, I just hope she's got towels down on the floor. Have a great year, everybody. Let's go, my baby bombers. It's time for another magical year. Yes, just put a picture of one of the glory holes on their back with a sign saying, insert here, pointing. You're a fucker. I can do your fucking job for you.